Okay, well, welcome everyone. It's good to see so many of you joining us this afternoon for this um, set apart time, this appointed time, this sacred time that the Lord <coughs> has called us to as we partner with him um, in his plans and purposes for Oceania. We want to welcome our special guest, Donnie. We welcome you, Donnie. In a little while, Jenny will be um, introducing Donnie. Jenny uh, knows Donnie really well. Um, but I'd better do the right thing and, and um, name today. So today it is the uh, Global Watch Oce uh, Oceania War Room call. It is September the 10th and it's 6 a.m. Jerusalem time. And uh, we welcome you to this. And so I'm just going to quickly pray. Father, we, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this strategic um, prayer initiative. We thank you for this war room that you have uh, brought forth um, so that we can partner with you in seeing the kingdom of heaven come to Oceania. And we welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Come mm. and lead us, guide us, anoint us, appoint us um, in our praying, in our hearing, in our listening, uh, that you will um, deposit something within us and that you will use this time to establish something, your will and your purposes in, in Oceania. And we, we just welcome you, Holy Spirit. We say welcome, welcome, welcome. And let this all be to the glory of your son, the son, Jesus Christ. And so um, we bless this time in Jesus' mighty name. So we, I'll just let you know what we're doing. We're going to have a time of worship led by Ruth. Um, then that, then uh, Jenny will introduce Donnie. And then Donnie will share with us for 20, 25 minutes. Then we will go back into a short time of worship again because we really want all that we do to be under the anointing of his presence and his glory. So just another five minutes of worship just to recenter us, refocus us on him, and then we'll come back and we will um, be led by Donnie in prayer for this really important event, the Pacific Prayer Assembly and the Fiji Glory Revival Awakening that's happening in October in Fiji, but with people from all over Oceania um, coming to that. And so um, over to you, Ruth, for a time of worship. And welcome those that have come on. Thank, welcome, Joe. Welcome, Hillary. Um, all those that have joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So everyone mute. That will make it easier for Ruth. And yep. uh, over to you, Ruth. Thanks. Yes, unfortunately, with the leg today, you just need to make sure you are muted while we're in worship today. Hallelujah. Lord, your word says that we know your power and your presence shines on all your lovers. Your glory hovers over all who bow low before you. Your mercy and your truth married each other. Your righteousness and your peace have kissed. Flowers of your faithfulness. Lord, No one 
Often listen to that song these days you know I could search the whole world over and find that there is none like you <laughs> such a simple song but it's so true you are holy 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 and we bow low before you that's <laughs> the posture of our hearts is to bow low before you this holy amazing magnificent saving God who has given to us your very spirit and you've given to us one another. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And you've given to us Donnie and you've given to us Jenny. And so, Jenny, would you like to now welcome Donnie and his wife, Jenny, and then hand it over to Donnie to share with us. Thanks, Jenny. Well, Donnie, it's, a, it's an honor to be um, sharing about you and introducing you. Um, I've known Donnie for many years. 
uh, because our paths have sort of crisscrossed at times. So we've, we've been in various um, meetings together over the years. And the thing I can say about Johnny is his passion, his zeal, his heart for Christ and to see the will of the Lord has always had an influence on me when I've been around him. And um, he's the founder of Generation Fire. And last July, he and Robin celebrated 18 years of that ministry. But before that, he was, um, he led Youth Arise. So he's always had a heart and a passion for young people. Um, He's on the International Prayer Connect with Jason Hubbard. Uh, I don't know if you all know, but there are 34 leaders from around the world who represent different regions, and Donnie uh, represents our region. So it just shows you the standard he has in the international community. In 2017, he went to Hernhut uh, as part of IPC with other prayer and mission leaders. And um, he was on the committee that I was on for the World Prayer Assembly um, held in Perth last October. And when Donnie's on a committee like that, we always listen to him. He always has something of great uh, value to, to bring to the meetings. And for me, an older person, uh, I hear the voice of his passion for that younger generation. He's the author of the book, The Coming Firestorm, and he's also uh, the founder of Business by Generation Solutions. But today uh, he's speaking to us about the Pacific Prayer Assembly in Fiji. So bless you, Donnie, and thank you so much for being on the call. You've got people from quite a number of different nations here now, and it's a joy to um, ask you to share. So thanks. What an honour it is to be with you today, and thank you, Jenny, for that uh, introduction, that was a real um, yeah, blessing. And it's been an honour to know you as well and the contribution you have had in this nation. I honour you in Jesus' name. Um, and uh, my journey um, I has been a um, quarter of a century almost. <laughs> uh, it started in 1999. I was just in my early 20s. And um, just straight out of Bible college with a hunger for God, wanting to, um, I, I was just one of those 20-somethings back then, just, just, you know, wanting to see Australia come back to God. And I was introduced to Youth Arise towards the late end of 1999. And uh, I was standing on the Brisbane showgrounds um, where 800 young people had gathered to pray for 12 hours to usher in the new millennium. And just in a few weeks from now, that same venue will be filled again with people for Awakening Australia. So it's interesting how God uses places and, and appoints times and seasons. And uh, back then, um, the, the prayer movement, even youth prayer movements, was sort of unknown at that time. Yet God was doing something in Oceania that was impacting Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, and some of these island nations, which picked up a vision based on Psalm 110, which was to, to see a whole army raised up that would have the drumbeat of holiness and would carry the glory of God upon their shoulders. And um, we, we saw God grow this prayer movement um, in Sydney and it was in Brisbane and other places and, and it, it, for a number of years it just uh, thrived as we saw youth ministries coming together in United Prayer. Over time obviously we've, we've grown, we've matured, <laughs> um, got married, had kids and, and all that um, and most of us back then now we're in our 40s. So <laughs> Um, and now it's, now it's God's raising up our own kids and to see them carry on the legacy. And that is where our heart is, is that God will continue to raise up this emerging generation right across this region. Um, and as we think about 
the World Prayer Assembly and leading into the Pacific Prayer Assembly, it all ties back to words, promises, declarations, prayers that have been prayed over a long period of time. And, and much prayer has come from uh, these uh, island nations. Much prayer has gone before us. And, and, uh, and so we take on a responsibility which is beyond my own capability. Um, and when we are with our island brothers, they hear from God. They love to pray and worship. And when you hear them worship, there's the passion. It's infectious. They look to Australia uh, as a big brother, including New Zealand. And even today, as we face certain challenges within this region, they look to us again. Their hearts are aligned to this nation uh, and, and New Zealand because of what God has done and how he's used Australia, New Zealand in the past to bring forth the gospel and, and to send out missionaries. And, and they pray for, for us. And, and they're in a way we're indebted to each other. And so there is much to contend for. There is much prophetic promise that is yet to be fulfilled. And, and the, the, this is all coming together uh, in October in Fiji. Last year in October, when we were in Perth, there was a, a, a theme about the wave of glory and there was much revelation given as to uh, what we're facing in Oceania. Uh, and some had seen visions of a red dragon coming from the north and that glory angels were being released to, to counter that. We, there, many were wondering why we've not seen this wave of glory that's coming. And, and it was because there, there was a red dragon coming from the north that was to try to hold up this um, move of God. And a young man from the Solomon Islands had painted this picture where he saw um, the, the island nations and the wave of glory coming, but the red dragon had come down and it was acting like a barrier. But God would use many different nations together to cut up that dragon. It will, it will require different nations to, to fulfill their role to cut up this dragon. And when after the World Prayer Assembly, uh, I led um, a, a small team of leaders from the Solomon Islands and Fiji. And we went up to this place called Malata Point in the Blue Mountains. And this place is the very place where the young missionary Florence Young had prayed with, with uh, young, um, you know, men and women from Malata. That's where it got its name. Malata being one of the largest islands in the Solomon Islands. They would come to the Blue Mountains and they would pray. And Florence Young would pray with them. And from there began this missions movement to bring the gospel to the Solomon Islands. And so we had Fiji there. We had Solomon Islands there. And, and standing on this high place, God met with us and forged our hearts together um, to pray for God to open up Oceania. And uh, it wasn't long after that where we got on our first call to, to talk about forming a prayer council for Oceania where uh, Roy Funu and a leader from Fiji had both heard from God that there should be a prayer assembly in Fiji. And from then on, we started to have more meetings. We started to, to pray together to see what God wanted and how this would happen. And momentum started to take place. And now we have, since then, a whole team on the ground has 
come together from all different churches. Um, we've started to have others join um, for Oceano Prayer Connect. And, uh, and now God has set the scene where uh, Vodafone Arena in Suva has been booked, which sits 6,000 people. And right now, 40 Days of Love has kicked off where churches right across Fiji, leaders have been trained on how to love their neighbour, how to pray for one another and other to encourage unity in the body of Christ. Um, there's going to be a six-day Pacific Youth Fest where teams within th th three weeks from now, teams of evangelists will be arriving from different nations into BG to saturate the schools with the gospel. Um, I could, like, the, we're seeing stuff happening now that is unprecedented. Every Saturday morning we have an hour of prayer for Fiji. We have the Solomon Islands guys joining and the room is packed full of intercessors who have been praying on a weekly basis for the last few months in to pray for God to mobilise a whole team to go to the to the Fiji. We're hearing close to 60 people may be coming from the Solomon Islands. Uh, on the on the uh, 11th to the 13th of October, there will be open air gospel crusades happening in multiple locations across Fiji. On the 14th of October is when the, our team will arrive, where we will be hitting three different locations with uh, spontaneous prophetic worship and prayer, married with intercession. And, and praying for a release of the fire of God over those places. Latoka, which is in the north, then we'll be heading to the west and then converging on Suva on the 16th, where um, Rick Ridings will then be arriving from Israel. We have already heard um, a representative of the Queen of Tonga will be coming from New Zealand. We, we've heard... Uh, some key Maori prayer leaders are planning to come. Um, to, to, to a team will form together on the 16th to go and pray with the Prime Minister of Fiji, followed by the President of Fiji. It's kind of like I'm kind of like just like Lord, the, the scale of this is just beyond me. <laughs> Um, of how God is moving and he's opened up government. It, it, it is all the 21 like nations, the ambassadors will be invited on the opening ceremony, which will be on the 17th. There's going to be a youth march on the 17th with, with youths coming from different Pacific Island nations will march together. The, on the, the, the night before, we're going to have an open air worship and prayer event in the middle of Suva, which will be youth focused and, and led by the Generation Fire team. And, and also a group from the Solomon Islands will be there too. You will have representation from most of the island nations. Um, the prayer is that God will mobilize all of Oceania, that we will have 21 nations represented we have five weeks to go and we're and we're asking god for some big miracles um as for whether it will be live streamed we are in talks about um what to do regarding media and uh tvn pacific have shown interest so where there's talks going on about how we might facilitate live streaming um where we need Prayer and where we need help is definitely in finance um, because Fiji is not a rich nation. And though we have big vision, the cost to do this is real. Uh, we know the, uh, the evangelists, there are about three different ministries coming who will be covering one half of the budget, the prayer assemblies to cover the other half. Many of the ministries that are involved are small but have big hearts. 
we're working together uh, with with a coalition of, of various teams, uniting together, learning how to walk in humility and, and in love. What is so different about this is in Fiji, that churches are starting to work together. With the issue of unity has been a big a big problem. Um, Fiji in itself faces a it's at a crossroads. The the issue of um, mental health, um, domestic violence, uh, drug abuse, uh, even um, sin in the church has been a real issue holiness and godly character they are some of the big issues and and uh there is a a, a prayer for god to bring a reformation uh new wine skin uh and 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 also to shift the culture of the body of christ from a like a, a tribal culture to a kingdom culture and and so there's there's much prayer for the, for something to shift and last few days i was in brisbane at a um an event called um raw <laughs> that was hosted by david and tina vaca and this had a representation of apostolic and prophetic leaders from the Pacific Islands, and we had Tonga there. We had New Zealand was there, Samoa, uh, at Papua New Guinea, and uh, Joseph Walters. Uh, we got to meet him, and he's going to be one of the keynote uh, speakers. So PNG's getting mobilised. Um, Tonga's getting mobilised. <laughs> so it's kind of like, Lord, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, Australia has a role in this too. And and uh, we're, we're, they, the, the, these island nations I look to us to, to say, can you sh show us how to have better, uh, have a revelation of the kingdom of God? Uh, the, 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 these smaller nations look to Australia for leadership, as, including New Zealand. Uh, but Australia, like some of the attitude that we had there was like, but hang on, you guys know how to pray better you you know how to worship better we need to learn from you but it's i think australia can't shy away from its call and purpose because god has a unique call and and that we're not to shy away from that not wait for our island brothers to step up we, we, we've got to learn how to go together and just just like what god wants to do between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people, between Jew and Gentile, that God wants to show a way for us to learn to do things together. And, and we complement each other with our strengths. Where we are weak, they are strong. Well, really, Jesus Christ, he is our strength when we are weak. But what Oceania needs, Australia, if Australia doesn't step up, Oceania is at risk, and and uh, that that's that was the message that came from Island Nations at last week's forum. Um, coming away from that, I know that how the stakes for this specific prayer assembly are high, and the, the that need for prayer cover is high. The prayer cover for the, all those involved at the leadership level. Um, the uh, attacks on health, the attacks on finance have, are real. Um, attacks on family is real, even on ministry leadership teams. It's like all of us involved, we're learning how to just walk low, walk humble, have short accounts, forgive one another, um, because the battle is real and, and the devil's not happy. <laughs> and... <laughs> Um, would appreciate prayers for myself and my wife, um, the teams that are going. Um, we have a team of many different nations going to be there on the 14th of October. That includes New Zealand. Uh, we've got young evan Jackie Ford is leading a team of evangelists to go into the high schools. Uh, so we've got Alejandro Arias is a 
a, a longtime friend of ours. He's leading the team from the Global Evangelist Alliance. So we're actually seeing a marriage between evangelism mission with the prayer movement. And, and we believe that this is going to be a prototype um, for Oceana moving into the future where you'll see a convergence between finishing the task and bringing this region together in united prayer, that, that we're able to saturate this region in a canopy of prayer and saturate it with the gospel. Um, I don't know how long I'm going for time, but that, that this is giving you a bit of the a, a bigger picture as to what is God doing. I might get my wife if she's there to just to say a, a few things, uh, and then we hand it back to Jenny after that. <laughs> so, Robin, if you want to unmute quickly, say hello. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> um, Donnie's really putting me on the spot here. I'm just about to head out the door to catch a bus. <laughs> but um, I don't know what to say. Um, Donnie's covered heaps of stuff. All I can say is that one major thing that I would say is that this <clears throat> whole thing that's happening in Fiji and with all the islands and um, it's bigger than anything that we could even fathom. And, and I don't like there's something different on this, something very different to anything we've ever experienced. And the, and, and even just like the level of attack is different, you know, it's just every, every aspect of this is so different. And I'm so, and it makes me even more excited every day because I just know that God um, is, yeah, is, he's got something big. That's, uh, that's all I can say. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. Sorry. I can't really comment more on it, but, but that's just, that's just a, my heart. I can feel it in, in the spirit, just how, just how um big this is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, prayer is much, that's... muchly appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful, Robin. Thank you. Lovely to see you and meet you. Thank you. It's nice to see everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, we, we have um, put out letters. So this is an update from Master Mika in Fiji. All the letters have gone out to all the heads of denominations in Fiji. All the major pastors in Fiji have received invites. Um, we now have a bank account open for Fijians to register and, and to receive, you know, sponsorship dollars. This is, this is in Fiji. Uh, we've got a link now set up. So everything is now in place uh, to mobilise and, and, and there's social media campaigns happening, email campaigns. Uh, so the word to the team out there is just go, go, go <laughs> and get the word out as far and wide and, and we're just really um, believing that God will bring the people um, our whole trust is in him. Yeah. Um, with the finance, um, I won't, like we know it's a mountain, but but God is our source. So um, that's all I will say on that. And but if you know of businesses that have a heart for Oceana, uh, or if you know of anyone who might be interested in sponsoring, um, please, um, yeah, put them in touch with us and, um, we, we, yeah, and pray that all the costs associated would be covered in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Right, amen. Thank you, everyone. Back, back to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Amen. Um. Yeah. So we are going yeah, to just go back for a short few minutes of worship. We'll free. We focus our minds on on the Lord and then we'll come back and we'll have some really targeted prayer. Donnie, it's interesting. Last week we salted the Oceania. <laughs> we saw we we um where we, we really talked about God establishing a table of fellowship among the leaders, pastors in in Fiji specifically especially, but in Oceania. And it's good to hear that there's some been some real shifts. Um, I saw something from Daniel saying that they'd had a really good response from pastors in Fiji. So we praise God for that because that was certainly uh, a strong aspect of our praying last week. Um, so Ruth, just a short 
moment lets us refocus on the Lord and refocus on the glory of God, um, the answers of God for finances, and then come back. And I'm going to actually ask people, Jenny, I'd ask if you might lead us off in prayer. Um, we're going to pray for finances. We're going to pray for engagement. Um, we're going to pray for the right people coming from all the nations. Um, but Jenny will start us off and then uh, we'll just open it up for um, just targeted prayer in those for those issues that Donnie has has raised. Thanks, Ruth. Amen. Donnie mentioned about the opposition of the warfare. So let's just declare, for though, O oh Lord, are high and exalted above all of the opposition in Jesus' name. Above the red dragon, Lord, we thank you. Your name's a name exalted above it all. voices together. We exalt you, Lord, above all. All powers and principalities, you are far above. Your power and your majesty, your goodness, your faithfulness, your glory is far above any opposition. And we thank you that we can join with you in your triumph and your victory. And listen, but we listen to Donnie's words about engaging, about stepping up. We worship you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny, for leading us off now. Philippians 4.19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. 
Father, we ask now for the release of those supplies. Lord, you know every need. Lord, having heard Donnie, we, we, we witness that this is your vision. We witness that this is your heart. We witness that you are mobilising across the Pacific region and, and calling them in. The trumpet is sounding and you're calling them in to Fiji where you want to meet with everyone. Yes. You want to have that encounter with all that come. So may they hear the invitation to come and may the need for finance not block them coming at all, Lord. Would you release the finance to every individual to come, the finance needed to cover um, all the administration, Lord, as well as the flights, but the setting up on the ground and everything else that is involved. This is a big project, Father. We ask you to uh, lay, laden up those camels, Lord. We decree the camels are coming. That finance is coming, Father God. So we praise you. We praise you, Father, in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Terry, would you like to pray? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this um, Pacific Prayer Assembly. We thank you, Lord, that in your mercy and your grace, you're bringing the um, ministers, uh, pastors together in unity. And this is, this is something so new to many of them, Lord, that they would be working with other denominations and with other fringe churches Lord, we just thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, that you're raising up leaders within Fiji who can speak your truth in love. And Lord, we pray for all those who are coming, particularly those who will speak. We pray for Rick Ridings as he makes the long journey from Israel. Lord, would you, would you make a way for him where there seems to be no way for him to come and to speak, Lord, and to bring the message of your love to the people of Fiji. And Lord, we know there's been so many prophecies that where the new day begins, you will begin your revival. So Lord, we just know that this is the time. This is the time that you're calling us to be in unity together, to pray together for the release of your Holy Spirit over Oceania. We thank you for the tremendous response from Solomon Islands, from Samoa, from Tonga, from Vanuatu, from Marshall Islands, um, from all the other uh, nations in um, Oceania. We thank you, Lord, that they have responded po positively and ascending people. Lord, we thank you and we praise you and we worship you today. We thank you that you're a great and mighty God and your covenants and promises are for everlasting. And we thank you, Lord, as we see your plan unfolding. We worship you and honor you today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amelia, are you are you able to pray from New Zealand and bless the Pacific Prayer Assembly and all the other activities from New Zealand? Are you are you able to do that? My free my screen's frozen, so I'm not sure what is happening with everyone. Are you them, Amelia? All right, bless you. Thank cool. you. Great, thank you. Um, thank you. The Lord. Thank you, Father God, that we come from the ends of the earth. We thank you, Father God, that you called us by name. That, Father God, these people um, coming from all over the world to come to our little, the little nations over in Fiji, Father God, we bless them. We tell them, come. We tell, tell them to come in the name of Ehukalaiti, in the name of Yeshua, Hamashia. We tell them, Father God, they are welcome. You're welcome in my house. Come, come, come one, come all. E lo ngai tengo ngā tama, o te tama, o he ukaiti. Ka whakamoi me te te mātou ki a koe, e i hoa ngā mā. Mā i tunu tēnei iwi, i arahi i tuku ki a koe. Ko te whera o ringa ringa ki tēnei iwi, nā re i titatua ka tukuna, o aroha ki ringi a lātou i sanki. We send them, Father God, in your name. We send them from all over, from there, from their own nation, we send them there, Lord God, to be your people, 
to be a blessing to you, to be a blessing to those that come in your name. That even the ones that are not in yet, Lord, we call them in. You know them by name. Those are your promises. This is, this is your word, and we send it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Bless Amen. the Lord. Amen. Thank Bless you, Amelia. Thank you so much. And I'd like to call on you, Nofoa, as a, as a Samoan. Originally from Samoa, would you also like to bless the Pacific Prayer Assembly and pray as one from, you know, as a representative of Samoa? Father, from the rising of the sun to its going down, may your name be praised, Lord. Father, we bless Oceania, Oceana. Lord, we thank you. We bless this meeting in Fiji. Father God, that your provision, that you will provide for every need, for everything that is needed, Lord, financially, spiritually, in every way. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Nofawa. We've got time for maybe one or two more prayers. Has anyone got something burning on your heart to pray? Thank you, Father. Father, we as as we pray particularly for Fiji in their role as being central in the islands of the Pacific. Yes, we're asking Father. that there would be a turnaround, not just in the church leaders and in, in your ecclesia, but there would be more and more coming in that the nation and the nations around about will see the change in hearts and in character as people come out of idolatry to whatever to serve the living God, the one God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And so we're we're calling for the results that you want in lives that say they're, they're serving you now, that there would be an increase in godly character. There would be a turning around to repentance. And those that don't know you at all, we call them in, Father, that this would have a huge impact in Fiji and then in the rest of Oceania and for your plans from the, of, the, of the role that the ends of the earth will play in the rest of the world. And we ask it in the amen. name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thanks, Thank Hilary. You. Yeah, I'm just to thinking pray, of... Hillary. Thank you. Rick Riding's coming from Israel. Yeah. And Father, we thank you for preparing the hearts of all these precious sons and daughters of yours that you want to raise up into maturity, into true adoption in you. And it's the revelation of the security of their root in you, Lord. Isaiah 11, 1, you came forth from the root of Jesse. You are the son of David. You are the one who came to preach the kingdom of God coming on earth. And I pray that the revelation can be spoken of your passion, your heart for the one new man, for Jew and Gentile, one in you, Lord, the blood of Jesus tearing down every wall of hostility, your precious body being torn and devastated, that enmity can be ended. And that, Father, if there's been any Palestinian movements in this parts of the earth, there can be a shift to truth and righteousness and revelation of who you are as the Holy Son of the Father, and the one who came speaking full of grace and truth and a re-evaluation of the Bible, a going back to the foundations and the truth of how you have established Israel and Jerusalem mm -hmm. to be the place of your return. We cry out for this realignment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Hilary. Thank you. Our time is up and so we, we need to come to a, a close. So I just want to thank you all for coming and you, not everybody got a chance to pray, but your presence means everything. Your agreement 
um, mm -hmm. means everything in in this in in our prayer. So, thank you. And I'm going to ask Cynthia from mm -hmm. from Jerusalem if Cynthia you would close us off with a blessing, and um, and especially we want to bless Donnie and Robin and all of the leadership team um, for the Pacific yeah. Prayer Assembly. But Cynthia, if you would close us off with a blessing. Yes, yes, uh, I would love to do that from Jerusalem, uh, not being a, a true he Hebrew speaking. I will speak the blessing in English, but the Lord knows. And uh, we speak this blessing, uh, blessing upon Fiji, upon Donnie and his wife and upon all the teams to counteract. And we know that it counteracts every work of the enemy, that the enemy must bow his knee as we declare over you all, and all the preparations that are going on and all that would happen in Fiji and over the land of Fiji, which plays such an important uh, role actually in this world, I can tell you, even in Europe. So uh, we declare Fiji and all who are working, Donnie and your wife and the teams, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and the Lord give you his shalom. And we ask it always in the beautiful name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen.